Hello to everyone and welcome to my class. Today's lecture is based on resonance energy. We will discuss what is the resonance energy. So first of all, resonance energy is also known as delocalization energy or resonance energy is also known as stabilization energy or conjugation energy. Means it is resonance energy or delocalization or stabilization or conjugation energy. So write in your notes, resonance energy. So let us consider a most important and beautiful example of benzene. Now, this is energy and this is cyclohexene. So let us suppose cyclohexene undergo hydrogenation. In presence of H2 nickel, there is a hydrogenation of cyclohexene. What is the meaning of hydrogenation? Addition of H2. Cyclohexene will convert into cyclohexane. Got it? And this much amount of heat is released. Because it is an exothermic process, pi bond will break and sigma bond will form. Means minus 120 kilojoule heat release when one pi bond reduced to alkane. Means conversion of cyclohexene to alkane. Now, in case of two pi bond, the heat of hydrogenation is minus 232 kilojoule per mole. If cyclohexadiene undergo hydrogenation and it will convert into cyclohexane, this much heat is released. This is the heat of hydrogenation. Now we have to calculate what is the resonance energy of this dyne. So what we have to do, suppose the energy of cyclohexane is x, then cyclohexane will be x plus 120. Why 120? Means this much heat is released during hydrogenation. So if it is x, then it will be x plus 120 by addition, the addition of heat of hydrogenation. Similarly, if the energy is x, then what is the theoretical energy of this? Because of 2 pi bond, x plus 240. 1 pi bond hydrogenate, 120 heat release. 2 pi bond undergo hydrogenation, 240 heat will release. This is our theoretical. Got it? Now, actual heat of hydrogenation is this. This means this is the actual data. Then what is the resonance energy? The difference between theoretical and practical or actual energy is known as resonance energy. This is minus 8 kilojoule per mole is the resonance energy of this dyne. Now what is the cause of this minus 8 kilojoule per mole? Sorry. The cause is, the cause is conjugation. Because of this conjugation, 8 kilojoule resonance energy is there. Means 8 kilojoule stability will increase. Now similarly, if I tell you to calculate resonance energy of benzene, how will you calculate resonance energy of benzene? And I am giving the data of heat of hydrogenation. This is the data of heat of hydrogenation. Now what you will do? First of all, we know, let us consider the energy of cyclohexane is X. Then what is the energy of benzene? When one pi bond reduce, the heat of hydrogenation is 120. And we have three pi bond. This means the heat of hydrogenation must be X plus 360. This is the theoretical energy. But the actual heat of hydrogenation is 208. This means the energy of this is x plus 208. Now the difference between this theoretical and practical is known as resonance energy. Now benzene resonance, the difference of 360 and 208 means minus 152 kilojoule per mole. Now this is minus 152 kilojoule per mole is the resonance energy of benzene. Now what is the cause of this high resonance energy? Because of this conjugation and aromatic. Because it is an aromatic molecule, that's why it has high resonance energy. To calculate resonance energy of this molecule, you must know only the heat of hydrogenation of only one pi bond. So always remember, the heat of hydrogenation of one pi bond is minus 120 kilojoule per mole. Rough data is there. Okay. And second data, you have to remember that resonance energy of benzene is minus 152. Got it? The energy is X for three pi bond, X plus 360. And this is the actual energy, the difference is the resonance energy. So write in your notes. Now, what is resonance energy? The resonance energy difference between the experimental energy and theoretical energy of a molecule. And we have to remember the resonance energy of benzene is minus 152 kilojoule per mole. Now, now we will discuss the problems regarding the resonance energy. 
Before starting the problems, just read this. Now, let us start with the discussion of examples of resonance energy. Now, before starting resonance energy examples, you have to remember this. What is this? A E R H I A means first to determine stability, to determine resonance energy, you have to check whether the molecule is aromatic, second is equivalent RS, third is resonance, fourth is hyperconjugation, fifth is inductive, and last one is anti aromatic. Aromatic, equivalent RS, resonance, hyperconjugation, inductive, and anti aromatic. This is the sequence you have to follow. For example, if I ask you to calculate the, ask you to compare the resonance energy of different molecule. What you have to check? If the molecule is aromatic, it has high resonance energy. Then check for equivalent RS, resonance, hyperconjugation, inductive and anti-aromatic. So just remember this sequence, the general sequence to determine resonance energy and stability. Now what is equivalent RS? Equivalent RS means the resonating structure of same stability and stable, stable and same energy. Now in this case, this acetate has two resonating structures. Now these two are very stable because of negative charge on oxygen and of same energy. Therefore, it is just two equivalent RS. Similarly, the benzene. Benzene has two equivalent RS. Got it? So just remember the acetate type RS or we can say benzene type RS are have equivalent RS. In case of this allyl carbocation, this is not a equivalent RS. Why it is not a equivalent RS? Equivalent RS must have complete octet if negative charge on more electronegative element. In this case, octet is incomplete. That is why we consider this RS as simply, you can say simply number of RS, stable, not equivalent RS. Got it? Similarly, this is not an equivalent RS because negative charge on carbon is unstable. In this case, how to compare stability? In this type of example, we simply write that this carbon ion has two resonating structures. What are equivalent RS? Equivalent RS of these type of RS. Stable and same energy are equivalent. Got it? Now try these examples. You have to compare resonance energy. And what should be the approach? Aromatic, equivalent RS, resonance, hyperconjugation, inductive and anti-aromatic. So you have to compare which has more resonance energy in given pairs. Pause the video, try your answer, then I will explain. Now let us discuss. We have to compare resonance energy of A and B. Got it? First of all, whether it is aromatic or not, both are aromatic. Second is equivalent RS. Now first has more resonance energy because biphenyl has four equivalent RS. While in case of naphthalene, RS is not equivalent. If pi bond move from this to right hand side position, this means it is unstable RS. Got it? Because of all individual are benzene. If pi bond move here, this is not individual benzene. One of the ring will individual benzene, one become anti-aromatic character. Got it? Now in second, we have two phenyl ring and we have naphthalene, which has more resonance energy. Two benzene are more stable than naphthalene. Because resonance energy of one benzene is 152. In case of two benzene, it is roughly 304 approximately 304. There is also effect of hyperconjugation. I am giving rough data, 304. But in case of naphthalene, the resonance energy is approximately 252 to 255. You can remember in such a way, benzene has resonance energy of 152. 
if one more ring is there it will be roughly 250 one more ring is there roughly 350 just like this 150 roughly 250 roughly 350 then which one is more stable naphthalene is more stable or two individual benzene is more stable two individual benzene is more stable this is a very important point two individual benzene is more stable than naphthalene now what about third which has more resonance energy this is our, our anthracene and this is phenanthracene the b has more resonance energy why all individually ring are aromatic this is aromatic this is aromatic this is aromatic all individual ring are aromatic but in this case this is aromatic this is aromatic but this is not individual aromatic two reasons are there more resonance energy because all individual ring are aromatic and if you draw resonating structure there will be a 5 rs and if you draw resonating structure of this 1 2 3 4 there will be a 4 rs more number of rs and more stable rs Now what about fifth, the A greater than B greater than C, how more RS, three resonating structures, two RS, no RS. Now what about fifth, in fifth B is greater than C is greater than A, why A is last, because A is our anti-aromatic and anti-aromatic are highly unstable. In sixth, A is greater than B, it is aromatic, yes it is aromatic, furan is also aromatic, then what is the difference, N plus is more stable than O plus. What about seventh, remove this, this has two equivalent RS, got it, but in this case there is no equivalent RS, second is more resonance energy than first. Now in 8th, this has more resonance energy because it is aromatic and this is not aromatic, therefore A is greater than B, it is aromatic and this is non-aromatic, got it? In 9th, A is greater than B, how? If this negative is undergo delocalization, extra resonance or we can say minus m of NO2 will operate, while in this case minus m of NO2 will not operate. Now in 10th, A is greater than B because it is aromatic and it is our anti-aromatic. What about 11th, A is greater than B because it is equivalent RS, just like a benzene both are aromatic but it has equivalent rs two equivalent rs and one more reason is there it is six member ring this means this pyrrol and fure uh, this is known as pyridine pyridine has more resonance energy than pyrrol because of six member ring and two equivalent rs and what about 12th, A is greater than B, because of more number of RS and aromatic. First of all, it is aromatic, 6 pi electron loop and it is sp3, therefore it is non-aromatic. So, A is greater than B, got it?